The resolution itself has been on City Attorney Fishko's desk for nearly two months now. Unlike us, the people of Gaza do not have the luxury of time. The death toll, officially between 35 and 40,000, could very well be three to five times higher. The IDF attacks on Rafa, specifically the bombings on Sunday, have only grown slowly more barbaric and punitive in execution. Parents should not be forced to find their children's heads and limbs separate from their bodies. The ICC has issued an arrest warrant for Prime Minister Netanyahu, and anything less than an immediate permanent ceasefire resolution is an indirect endorsement of genocide. In addition, the much, um, you know, the Gaza Pier, which was constructed over at Fort Easter, recently came untapped, recently began floating out into the Mediterranean due to bad weather. $300 million, $300 million which was built on a hacked up pier that didn't even need to be spent when President Biden says that the need to call for a ceasefire. Mm -hmm. So I call on all of you tonight to pass a resolution for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. Thousands have already died unnecessarily, and thousands more will continue to die if action is not taken. <coughs> Free Palestine.